So guys, for the first method, if you play Roblox on a web browser, you want to head over to the web browser where you play Roblox on. Now once you're on this, on the top right here, next to Roblox, you want to click on this. And now you want to click on Cookies and Site Data, and then click on Manage on Device Site Data. You now want to delete everything that comes up here, and then click on Done. And you now want to click on this again, and then click on Site Settings. And now you want to click on Reset Permissions, and then click on Reset. And if anything comes up here that's under usage, you just want to either reset it or delete it. Then you just want to restart your web browser, see if that works for you. If you play the desktop version of Roblox, then you want to head over to search and type in percent temp percent. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to do control A and then delete. And then click on do this for all current items and then continue. If you get this again, you want to click on cancel. And now see if that works for you. If that's still not working for the second method, you want to right click on Roblox and then click on Properties, and then click on the Compatibility tab. Now you want to tick Run this program in compatibility mode, and then tick Disable full screen optimizations, and run this program as an administrator, and then click on OK. See if that works for you. If that's still not working, then you want to head over to Search, and type in Add Remove Programs, click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to scroll down till you find Roblox Player, Roblox Player or just Roblox. You want to click on the three dots, and then click on Uninstall. Then you want to uninstall it. And then once you uninstall that, you want to head over to search and type in Microsoft Store, click on it. And then once you're on this, you just want to search for Roblox and then click on Get. Then you just want to re-download it again. And then after you re-download it, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.